Ian, we're going to talk about uh, the Maker's 46 Mile and Bondurant. Tell me how he's coming up to the race. Good. I'm very pleased with him. He, he's a horse that keeps improving and improving. What did you like about his last race down at Gulfstream? It was a good second. Uh, the horse, the horse that finished fourth in the race, come back and win a strong allowance here. Ran a huge race, and the horse down there, heart to heart, he's a he's a tough horse to beat at Gulfstream. That's a speed track, and he's he's very tough to beat there. So we got to with three quarters of a length of him. You've got, I believe, four works in him here since coming up to Keeneland. Tell me how those have gone. Good. Everything's gone to right on schedule. I got to work on the grass here. I'm very pleased the way he's doing. What is it that uh, gave you confidence to go in this spot? Tough race. It is tough, you know. Um, <laughs> it makes him as a stallion if he can win a grade one. And, and I, I honestly believe this horse will be a grade one horse. I think he will, will develop into that. Whether we're good enough in this race on Friday, but he'll, he'll, he'll run good. I want to ask you about one you got in on the, in the Ben Ally on Saturday, uh, Birdsong. Are you concerned at all about getting to the mile and an eighth? No, I think I've been wanting to run him a mile and eighth. I've been dying to do that. I think two turns is going to be his, in his wheelhouse. He's by Unbridled Song and he's out of Birdtown, one of Kentucky Oaks. So, no, I think that's going to be more more to his, in more of his scope and what he wants to do. He ran uh, big last time, running in Florida. Talented horse, very good. He's just getting good. Tell me about uh, how McCracken has come out of his effort in the bluegrass. Very good. Very pleased with him. He come out, went back to the track today, and um, no problems. Come out good, and we're on to the next one. You could go back and look at the 1990 bluegrass, and at <laughs> his race in this year's bluegrass looks a lot like Unbridled's race in 1990. Is it going to be the same result? Well, that's, <laughs> hopefully for you it is. Uh, do you see some similarities? I do. You know, the horse is doing well. He needed that race the other day. We got knocked around a little bit, but the horse needed that, you know, because he's done everything too easy. It's been all of a, a big game to him, and he didn't quit on me. That's what I like about it. He, he handled the pressure. He could have quit easy, but he didn't. He didn't quit. He got tied. He'd come out of it blowing, and I think he's going to move forward a long way off of that. On that racetrack, was he just in good form last year, or does that track move him up some? Uh, I think he was in good form. You know, he likes the track. You know, you can't say that he doesn't. He loves the track there. Churchill suits him well. And and it's just, you've got to think, this last race, I don't forget, I missed the Tampa Bay Derby. So right. I was behind the eight ball. I was playing a little catch-up to get, I had to get this race. So I, I made sure we got this race, and, and he's very good. And now we keep moving forward.